Okay, so now we are talking about that linear regression. So mainly when you want to identify what is the trend, not only for the NDVI, any other indices or any other, uh, not only for the vegetation, suppose water index or uh, soil adjusted index or any other index. When you want to find out what is the trend for this index, then we have to use at the linear regression. In Google Earth Engine platform, we can easily apply the linear regression method and then uh, find out uh, what is the trend about that for a specific region uh, where the vegetation loss is increasing or decreasing what is the condition for that NDVI or any other indices so basically here you can see this is the one kind of map for the linear regression trend analysis for NDVI in Delhi and we are identify the trend analysis between the year of 2013 to 2021 between this time period higher high vegetation gain and higher low vegetation gain and higher low vegetation loss and higher high vegetation loss we are just make the classify so high vegetation gain plus low vegetation gain plus low vegetation loss plus and high and high vegetation loss plus and we are just show the result in map okay this type of color identify about that high vegetation uh, gain green color this type of color identify about the low vegetation, this color identify about the low vegetation loss, and red color identify about that high vegetation loss between the year of 2013 to 2021. Okay, so for creating the linear regression, first of all, we have to import the time series data. If you want to use at the long time, then we also get the better result. So in this time, we are just using at the year of 2013 to 2021, eight years data for that NDVI. And then uh, we are just, uh, uh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Rahman, can you do this for my uh, my area which I have sent you? Okay, I also show you the for your area. So in this ah, time, we are ah. just put here this eight years data for NDVI, and then find out where is that uh, high vegetation gain, where is the low vegetation gain, where is the low vegetation loss, where is the high vegetation loss about. And ah, basically, okay. when uh -huh. I do the Google Earth Engine platform, we can get this type of result. Okay, so we can get the this type of result after applying the linear regression or linear fit model. So in this time, here we can see the result look like that. Here you can see. So mainly this is the black and white. This type of color you can get. Also, you can get this type of color. So basically, this is the black color. Black identify about that negative slope. So mainly linear linear fit model provide the two information negative slope and positive slope negative slopes identify the negative trend and positive slope identify the positive trend and when we find out the negative trend negative trend means that vegetation loss and positive trend means that vegetation gain Okay, Gain. so basically when I do the Google Earth Engine platform as a grayscale color, we can get this type of color. Okay, so using this ArcMap software, we have to create this type of analysis. Suppose high vegetation slope, low uh, low vegetation slope, then negative slope. We have to reclassify. High negative slope. Ah. We are just make the classified and then create this type of map. But okay. it's the raw. It is the raw about that uh, linear regression model on NDVI. Okay. So using yeah. the raw data, we can make this type of map using the ArcMap software. So identify the high high slope, low slope, low negative slope, high negative slope. Okay, then we classified high vegetation gain, low vegetation gain, low vegetation loss, and high vegetation loss. So now linear fit model. So mainly linear fit model uh, provide the negative slopes in red showing the um the negative trend or vegetation loss. So mainly negative slope. It uh, show this type of in this time grayscale color. We can get the negative slope as a black color. Okay, so mainly negative slope appear in this. Uh, it will be another color about that. So negative trends and negative trends means that vegetation will be lost. And positive slope appear in the another color. So showing about the positive trend and positive trend means that vegetation gain. Okay, so negative negative trend positive positive trend and negative when I can get the negative slope uh, in black, it's showing is the negative. Trend. and negative trend means that ne uh, vegetation will be lost and positive slope appear in the white color which showing the negative uh, mainly vegetation gain so now 
how it will work, we can see our code. So first for that, here you can see. Yeah. So just I try to check the code for your study area. And this time it is the daily engine. Just I simply go to the asset tab. And then find out your study area. Now click the run. So now we can get the result for this study area. And I also explain about the code. So basically, first of all, you simply import your shape file, your boundary shape file, okay. and put at the e dot feature collection and put your shape file variable name and store it in the ROI. So basically, this is the code we are just used for downloading this boundary shape file. So downloading the boundary shape file in uh, shape file. Okay. Then this time you can see tax will be running. And when I click on this delay, because in this time it's showing the delay because description name is the delay. So in this time you can use here the any name. Suppose I put here the ROI or any name. Or uh, basically it shows the your result for your uh, shape file. Okay. You can put any. So okay. you can see Bye. basically this is the code for downloading the this boundary shape file. So now first of oh. all, I just show the boundary. And in this time, first of all, I need to create the data set for the year of suppose 2013 to 2021. Okay, I need to create the data set. So just I simply use at the land set imagery. So I take all of those images. So in this time, you can say I did not use any types of filter date function. Okay. So in this time, I, I, I don't filter the date because I take all of those images for land set 8 for my study area. For the you can use the filter bounds function, okay and less than 10 percent okay less than 10 percent all of those emails i take in here okay and show my display about that so you can see the result so this is my emails i take this emails so now using this emails i need to create the ndvi because i need to make the ndvi trend so for that i need to create the ndvi okay so you can say I need to create the NDVI. I need to create the NDVI. So NDVI just create the function and put here the image normalized difference by uh, red infrared rename is the NDVI and just create the band about that. So mainly we are using this function for create the NDVI band. Okay. And after the this this band we have to add with my image collection. This is my image collection. The image collection so use the image collection and add add with the simply call this very function variable name and paste here so now it add with that ndvi band okay so now i create my band so now write the function to add the time band with the image collection so for that i need to create the another function to create uh, the time about that for this image time i need to create the image time also and then apply this function with my image collection okay so now we have to use the Calculate the NDVI trends using the linear fit reducer. Okay, so mainly lin lin linear fit reducer provide you the slope. Okay, so mainly it provide the slope and a scale. These two things we can get from here, two band, a scale and slope. Okay, for the uh, for this linear fit model, it provide that. So now we are just show the linear fit model. Uh, we click with our study area. So now we can get this type of result. You can see linear fit colors. We can get this type of colors. So here you can see the study area, we can get this type of color. Up 
after applying the linear fit model And now we can get this type of color. Here you can see the blue color we can get. So this type of blue color identify about that vegetation gain. Okay, vegetation gain for this blue color. You can see it show the result for that. This type of blue color identify vegetation gain, and this type of color identify about the vegetation loss. Vegetation loss. Vegetation loss. Also vegetation loss. Okay. Vegetation loss. This type of color identify. So it also better understand the say simply show the gray scale color. So then we can get the black and white color. Okay. So black color. Means that vegetation loss, and white color means that vegetation gain. And black color have a uh, we can get the negative slope, and white color we can find out the positive slope. So if I want to check, suppose just click on the display tab. Suppose I click on the any black pixel value. Yes. We can get the slope. I was going to the white pixel value. Okay, you can see we can get the scale is the positive. Positive means that vegetation gain. Okay. So now uh, this is the result about that. So this is a thirteen uh, year of two thousand thirteen to two thousand twenty one. Between this time period, we have to find out, analyze, and find out where the visitation is the gain and where is the visitation loss. Okay, so for that uh, we are just export this map and then find out the high positive slope value. We can set that it is the high visitation gain. We have set the low positive value, set the low visitation gain, and then also set about that low negative value, set the low visitation loss, and also set about that high negative slope identify the high vegetation loss okay 
and then create this type of uh, map about that okay a classification map about that okay now for the we can easily calculate the area how much uh area for the high vegetation gain how much area for the low vegetation gain how much area for the low vegetation loss how much area for the high vegetation so this type of calculation we are also to use the arc map software and then find out the result about that okay so you can see you can get the result look like that it is the white color identify about the white color identify about the positive slope and positive slope positive. means that oh, yeah. uh high vegetation gain this type of region a positive uh, white color yeah, yeah, yeah. and black color identify about that it's the uh, negative slope and negative slope identify about that vegetation loss okay or ndvi trend low ndvi trend or and further we can say download that and then try to okay so now next next slide 